Hey everyone, Kevin Garvin here. And uh, today I've got a special recipe for you. It's the Neiman Marcus popovers. And I have to tell you, the popovers at Neiman Marcus are probably the most iconic food item in any restaurant anywhere. Because I tell you, people come from all over the country just for the popovers. And today I'm gonna give you my secret on how to make the best popovers. The first thing you wanna do is get yourself a really good popover tin. I really like this one. Um, it's, it's probably a cast iron and maybe a little aluminum in it. And um, we're gonna have to spray it. So make sure you get yourself some good spray and uh, that'll be the way you're gonna make sure that they don't get stuck. The other thing you'll need is a little bowl here because once we make the batter, we're gonna pour it into the bowl and then we're gonna pour it into the popover tin. So let's get started. So I've got the recipe here. I've got the four cups of all-purpose flour, four cups of milk, six eggs, some baking powder, and some salt. So let's get started. Let's put the eggs in there. They're gonna have to take about three minutes because you're gonna have to get them nice and frothy. So I'll get them going. So take a look, this is the, this is the eggs now, and that's just frothy as you wanna get them. So now we're gonna add the milk. All the milk goes in at once and we're going to add the salt and the baking powder and then we're going to start to add the flour. Now you're going to want this batter to rest for about an hour before you put it in the oven. So we're going to pour it into our bowl over here. Great consistency. And we'll let that rest. All right, so the pan, we're back and, and the pan was in the oven probably for about 30 minutes in a 425 oven. I pulled it out, you look and you can see that it's on a little sheet tray. And then I'm gonna spray them with the pan. And then we're gonna fill the pan up. And we're gonna go all the way to the top because that's, we want big popovers. And the idea of keeping it on the pan is that if there's any spillage, it'll just bake on the pan, but you don't want any spillage. Okay. And. All right. We're ready for the oven. So here we are, fresh out of the oven about 15 minutes later. And they're looking pretty good. So let's see what we got here. Nice, perfect inside. This is exactly what you wanna see. Baked enough in the inside, crispy on the outside. So I hope you enjoy them as much as we have for the last 60 years at your house. Take care.